We are the real OBGYNs of UT Nashville. And we've developed an obstetrical simulation module to teach the management of cord prolapse. And today we are going to demonstrate that for you in six easy steps. When it comes to a vaginal delivery, you've got to pit it to get it. Category 3 tracing? I'd stat that. I don't know if you've heard, but 6 is the new 4. Labor is fun. Your patient in 3106, the 31 weaker with PROM, is having recurrent variable decelerations. Okay, we'll send the resident. Step one, identify risk factors. Spontaneous risk factors include mouth presentation, polyhydramnias, preterm labor, PROM, multiple gestations, grand multiparity, and birth weight less than 2,500 grams. Iatrogenic risk factors include amniotomy, external cephalofersion, attempted rotation of the fetal head, amnio infusion, and placement of internal monitors. Step 2. Recognize the cord prolapse. I think I'm feeling the cord is the presenting part. And that brings us to the all-important step number three. Leave your hand in place and elevate the fetal presenting part off the cord. Step four, call for help. We've got a cord prolapse. Okay. Step five, prepare for stat C-section. Step six, debrief. After every obstetric emergency, you should assemble the team, hopefully shortly after the event occurred, and debrief the episode of care, uh, asking essentially three questions. What went well, what didn't go well, and how we can do things better. Is this it, the whole team? Yes, sir. Patient, yes. Patient's doing well? She is. Okay.